what's up guys it's mcnulty here welcome back to the channel and it is the lunar new year um so uh, happy lunar new year to all of you who's celebrating um i remember you know from my childhood celebrating a little bit um so i hope you got your lycee packets out and you're getting some dough this new year so for us in terms of empires and puzzles it's important because we've got two new heroes and we've got a new seasonal event. Um, and these two new heroes I am overjoyed about, to be honest, because they are going to be some absolute monsters um, and extremely good counters. Um, so we're going to have a little look at them now. We're going to break down Zhao Tu and uh, Lao Hu. So funny that they rhyme, but... Uh, we're going to start with Zhao Tu, I think, cause, just because it's the year of the rabbit. So we'll go with her. Um, so we have this family bonus. So obviously she's a fire hero to start off with. Family bonus for the Lunar Family Heroes looks like it is specific uh, if you've got more than one other Lunar Year hero. So just to go over it really quick, uh, the heroes become stronger when they're teamed with other unique heroes of the same family. The Lunar family features different Lunar Year heroes, animal heroes, and each Lunar animal grants a different bonus to the members of the Lunar Year family when they're paired with at least one other Lunar Year hero. So that's important. They get the bonus when they're paired with another Lunar Year hero. This specific hero gives the rabbit bonus. Of course, she's a rabbit. Why wouldn't she? Um, and that's plus 5% mana generation. So pretty good bonus. But remember, you got to have more than one. So you got to collect them all. <laughs> that's the name of the game. Um, we also have this passive. And this is where everything matters. This is everything that matters about this card is the passive. So Zhao Tu has this passive which disables minion abilities so all attacks and abilities of all minions owned by enemies are disabled that is extremely extremely useful um, it basically means if you take her up against any other minion summoner whether it is water pipe or whether it is uh, miriam and midnight or whether it is one of the three kingdoms heroes which summon those annoying minions even if it's um the new green ninja with the counter attack ninjas ninja minions <laughs> she is just going to disable everything um so all of those effects that are added to the minions are going to be null and void um, which is why these two heroes are extremely desirable. Um, so in terms of stats, we're going to move on. She's got 959 attack, 897 in the defense, and 1777 health. Really good attacking stat. If you switch the max power preview off, she's above. She's 834 attack. Nicely balanced with nearly 800 defense and 1439 health. So really good stats for this hero as well. Her special skill for Zhao Tu is called Reverse Recovery. And at average speed, she deals 655% damage to the target. <laughs> 655 that's right that's what it says anyway and the target and nearby enemies resist healing and receive 250 damage per each resisted heal for th for four turns so this snipe hit is humongous 655 with that attack stat if you limit break and add emblems i don't even know how much that's going to hit for maybe 1300 i would guess um, so that target that you've just hit is going to be on their last legs anyway. They then have this healing damage thing going on where they resist healing, so they can't receive a heal. But if they are attempted to be healed, they get 250 damage per each resisted heal for four turns. So that is an amazing after effect. I know some people don't like the fact that she's a sniper, but I say that she's amazing because that after effect is just going to annoy the hell out of you. There is the option to be able to cleanse it so it's not completely stupidly overpowered. Um, but that coupled with the passive of the disabling of minion abilities and that huge upfront hit 
I would say makes Yao Tzu an amazing hero. So congrats if you did grab this one. She is of the Druid class as well, so she also gets those little thorn minions. Uh, so there's a little bit of a meat shield going on with her as well. So great, great hero. Now, the other hero in the portal is Lao Hu. I think that's how you say it. So Lao Hu, we've got a holy hero of the monk class. Really good class, I like it because you can resist the negative uh, status effects and he's got that all award winning passive that we all want to disable minion abilities so definite reason that you want this guy on your team. Um, the stats, we've got 920 attack, 945 defense and 1778 health so a slightly lower attack than um, the rabbit. Um, but still, 826 without emblems is a pretty good attacking stat. And he's going to be survivable because he's relatively balanced across the board as well. His special skill is, I'm going to try and say this, Fierce Fujiao Pai. And he's running at fast speed, which is excellent. And at fast speed, Lao Hu's going to be dealing 605% damage to the target. And boosting his health by 50% of the damage health uh, damage dealt. So that hit is, again, it's a humongous hit. A massive snipe. There's no requirements. Um, like, obviously, Ruffian and Nergib can get up to 570, but she needs to meet requirements. Other heroes that can snipe can get up to higher levels, but most of them have those requirements. This one doesn't need anything. He's just going to smack you in the face for 605% damage at fast speed. And your minions aren't going to work against him. So you're just going to wonder what the hell you were doing or thinking in the first place. I love this hero as well. Um, I think that the art is great. I'm all, all for these brand new heroes. In fact, I'm so all for them that I'm going to do a few pulls now. I think I've literally just got six Epic Hero tokens. Um, if I grab one of these, it will be amazing. Um, but it's a 0.8% chance. So technically, I've got to do some summoning and some pulls. And we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get to it. I think that they definitely are worth summoning, summoning for. So let's have a crack at it. So here we go. Six tries. <laughs> thought it was going to be the tiger on the first try. That would be amazing. Um, right. I'm not expecting anything. Literally just watched one where there was a hundred pulls and nothing. So let's just have a crack at it anyway. Come on, last one, show me the money. Oh, it's purple. Never mind. All right, well, I hope you guys' summons go pretty well for this one. They're definitely worth trying for, and I think we've got a fair few days to try for them. Um, let's just have a quick look. So you've got about two and a half weeks to get your hands on one of these heroes. And I think if you are like me and you're going up against Miriam and Mid Midnight Tanks a lot or uh, Water Pipe a lot, uh, you're going to want to have uh, one of these heroes on your team. So I wish you all the best of luck in your summons. Please drop us a like, subscribe if you found the video useful, and I'll look forward to seeing you all again in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.